on school lunches. And I guess before we get started, just like raise your hand or shout out like an example of what you had first. The rectangle pizza. Rectangle pizza. Oh, that was so good. Rectangle pizza. Potato tots. <laughs> what was too. your favorite school lunch? <laughs> Cheeseburgers and fries. Oh, well, mom's turkey sandwich. She made me for my mom. So you Two brought your lunch from home. Okay. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> Collard greens <laughs> and fried chicken. This is an example of a typical school lunch. We have deep fried popcorn chicken, tater tots, bread, and then on top of that we have this like really fatty sauces like ketchup and barbecue sauce, along with milk, which is really sugary and not good. So like I said, they're high in fat, high in sodium, high in fiber. This is another example of a typical school lunch. What is that? So even though um, the past 15 years um, we've been trying to improve the nutrition of school lunches, they're still way over processed, full of preservatives, sodium, and sugar, as you can see. So um, how many of you guys have Twitter, Instagram? I'm sure we all at least know what it is. So you know what the hash, like what hashtag does. So there's been a trending hashtag going around, thanks to Michelle Obama, because of her effort to actually improve the diet of American children and releasing new guidelines called the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act. Unfortunately, um, her efforts didn't quite work, and this is kind of what they got. Oh no. <laughs> Just go to Instagram.com. Okay. <laughs> and go to hashtag thanks Michelle Obama. You have the, you have a username? Yeah. <laughs> Any of you guys want to add me? Just uh, <laughs> okay, and then. <laughs> hello. Ooh, so and then I think we're going to go to a search. <laughs> go to the home. She woke up in my roommate's bed one time. She just got confused on the way back to the bathroom. Go to Dana, all the way at the right, top, top right. Uh, yeah, okay. me. Let's go to let's go to the home home icon. Okay, let's go to Twitter.com then. I guess it's not gonna work. Water. It's water. Aren't they so good and they're so addictive too? Yeah. <laughs> I made so many ones. Are they salty? Uh huh. Uh, it's a great holiday snack. Huh? So we have I can go. Maybe that email that you sent me will have it. Okay. Um, Don't worry. You, you go right into Alan's time, I guess. Alan's <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> He said, BRB dog. I love you. There you go. Keep an LC one. It's right there. It says, check out. Uh, it was up, up. Oh, wait, down, 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 down. Right. Oh, 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 up, 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 Check. Yeah. <laughs> and I was so confused for like 20 minutes. I could not figure out who it was. Yay. Okay. Here we go. So, back to what I was saying. This is what they got. These are different like tweets and Instagram posts of the food. <laughs> What is that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. They don't know either. Mm, and these nice are just fruit. like a few examples of seeming <laughs> <Nice. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> With a selfie. <laughs> yeah. 
think kids are starting to catch on to school lunches? I, I think so. They start hashtagging it in their Instagram and Twitter account? Oh, Tamworth Bean Pineapple. Tamworth Pineapple. So that would, be, that would be considered their fruit for that meal. True. One piece of pineapple. Oh, yeah. And tater tots are also, and fries are considered a fruit because they're from the Is that a hair? Oh. Uh, keep it. Oh. <laughs> nice. That is considered green. green. What is that? Green. That's green drink. What's the what's the oh bread? Bread and strawberry and applesauce? That's in sample salt. And a slushie? Double serving. Plastic left on their seat. Goodbye. This looks like chicken pizza sauce. Don't tell me. So, because um, a lot, at least half of their students are consuming their meals at home, it is kind of a big deal. So. We are starting to pay more attention to it. And so the Institute of Medicine has tried to make some changes, such as more whole grains, more fruits, more veggies, low fat milk, and less sodium and fat. We're also trying to cut down on the portion size. And because of this, um, it's causing additional funding. Some schools are even starting to integrate salad bars. A survey taken in 1973 compared to a survey taken in 2003 has shown that the prevalence of obese age school children has gone from 4% to 18.8%. That's like quadruple. Students who regularly are eating school lunches are more likely to become obese compared to those who bring their own lunches. So, because this is a problem, what can be done? We can start educating our children on nutrition, teaching them the benefits of healthy eating, incorporating nutrition classes, and just overall encouraging them to make healthy choices. We can also start um, incorporating healthier options into the cafeteria. We can work with the cafeteria staff, local farmers, budgeting committee, committee to try and incorporate fresh local vegetables and seasonal foods, and also a decrease in the portion size. Brown bag solution. Like Kylan said, they don't have to eat at school. You can, if you are a parent, you can bring your happy kids lunch and you can feed them a healthy breakfast, not Fruit Loops or Cocoa Puffs or any of that, like maybe like an egg white omelet or a smoothie or something like that. And you can write to your local school to show that you are concerned and show that you care and make it known. Removing trays, there's actually a study done that removing the big plastic trays from schools um, cuts down on them taking more than they want to eat, so you can do that. That's a simple, easy, and effective way. You can reduce the amount of sugar, butter, salts added to food. Um, you can make them ask for the salt packets, and if they ask for a salt packet, just give them one instead of leaving it open and then grabbing a whole handful. Same thing with ketchup, barbecue sauce, all that stuff. Um, and by removing vending machines from school. So. <coughs>